Weeks ago, a jury found a Richmond man guilty of causing a deadly boat crash nearly four and a half years ago. But there's still much we don't know about what happened in the minutes and hours after that accident. Now, CBS 6 problem solver Melissa Hippolit has obtained court documents in which investigators and the victim's family reference the possibility that surveillance video was deleted. It's all new at 6. Well, the civil lawsuit was filed nearly three months after the crash. In the lawsuit, Graham McCormick's family alleged that Rand Hooper's parents helped him cover up the crash. But CBS 6 legal analyst Todd Stone says investigators must not have had enough evidence to prove that the parents did anything wrong. In a civil lawsuit filed in Richmond Circuit Court in November of 2017, a suspicion was raised by the McCormick family that Rand Hooper's parents attempted to erase surveillance video that might incriminate their son. They're making the allegation in the civil suit uh, that there was a cover-up. In separate court filings made by Lancaster County investigators around that same time, detectives referenced security cameras all around the Hooper family's river house in Irvington, where Hooper and McCormick drank and played cards before the deadly crash. Hooper says he called out for his friend after the accident, but figured he was a good swimmer and could make it to shore, so he drove the boat home and claimed he didn't remember what happened until 25 days later. Hooper has maintained that he doesn't remember who was driving his parents' boat when the crash occurred, but investigators and prosecutors have long believed Hooper was piloting the boat at that time, and last week a jury in Norfolk agreed, convicting Hooper of involuntary manslaughter and and failure to stop at the scene and render aid. Now, CBS 6 has obtained a search warrant from 2017 in which Lancaster detectives stated that it appeared some of the security data from an ADT camera at the River House was possibly deleted shortly after the crash. The warrant also stated that Gary Hooper told detectives that he could watch live feeds from the cameras on his phone. The Hoopers were vacationing in South Africa at the time of the crash. But the Hooper parents were never charged with any crime, and no evidence was ever submitted establishing that the parents tampered with security footage. In fact, Rand Hooper's defense attorney, Craig Cooley, told me this was a totally false allegation. He said the devices in question simply showed images of someone walking by that you could only see in real time. Cooley said these are not cameras to the extent that they record anything. He said the allegation created an unfair perception of the Hoopers who were completely cooperative with law enforcement. In a criminal case, the burden's a lot higher. CBS 6 legal analyst Todd Stone. They would have to be able to select, you know, the mother, the father, the uh, siblings, somebody else, and, and prove beyond a reasonable doubt that that person deleted the video. Not just that the video is missing, but that this specific person deleted the video and prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. And that's a really hard thing to do. On top of that, Stone says the obstruction of justice statute in Virginia code that deals directly with destruction of property actually spares parents from prosecution. But the, the primary statute for that seems to exempt close family members, and so that's one hurdle. The other hurdle, though, is just simply proving who actually deleted the video, if that's the case, um, and that's a really tough one, too. As for Rand Hooper, his attorney says he does plan to appeal the convictions. It'll go to the Virginia Court of Appeals first, and, uh, and then they'll consider it, and if it's denied there, then it can be appealed again most of the time to the Virginia Supreme Court. So it's a long process. It could take easily a year or two. But Stone says Judge Charles Poston appeared to take a cautious approach to the trial, making it harder for the Court of Appeals to find mistakes in the lower court's handling of this case. There's one particular issue where the judge kept out the prior convictions of the defendant, that tells me that the judge is playing it very cautious and trying to keep the case from having appealable issues uh, because that was a cautious decision to make. The civil suit was settled back in April of 2018 for $4 million. As part of the settlement, Graham McCormick's family released Rand Hooper and his parents from any liability related to his death.